pretty fired up after the game. Um, big win for us, big win for this team. Uh, there was a lot of excitement in the locker room. Uh, we're just having a lot of fun out there. And uh, anytime you get a win with you know, your best friends, uh, it's, it's a good time. How close are you and Gerard? You know, you've been one of his favorite targets over the years, and obviously you all have a close relationship. Could you just kind of speak to that? Right, we're definitely close friends. You know, we, we spend you know, countless hours each day together in meetings, practice. You know, this is our fourth year together, so, you know, <laughs> add all that up, it's, it's a lot of time together. And um, definitely close friends, definitely want the best interest of, of each person. Um, just want to see each other succeed. Has Coach Sherman given you all any indication how he plans to handle things this week leading into Saturday's game? No clue. Okay. How, how, how do you approach this week? I mean, mentally. I mean, obviously, now you've played. Uh, you go to look at meetings, look at film. Is, is it mentally? How do you approach it? Is it different? Um, I don't think it's a lot different. You know, you just have to prepare to, to, uh, to play. If, if I get that opportunity, then, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll be ready to play. And if not, then... Um, you know, it just wasn't my day, but uh, you definitely have to prepare like you're going to play and, and uh, practice hard and, and try to try to clean the things up that we didn't see that last night on, on the sideline. Uh, you know, you talk about emotion, you know, uh, running over that defender. And, you know, was it just caught up in the moment? And, and have you consider yourself that, that type of runner, you know, not afraid to take a hit? Well, I'm definitely not afraid to take a hit. Um, you know, that's part of the game and, and playing receiver. I've taken some, some shots over the years. Um, definitely been seeing stars a few times, but... Uh, you know, he, I was just planning on, you know, getting as much as I could and getting out of bounds. And, you know, the guy you know, came and tried to put it on me, so I just loaded my shoulder and took him off. When you came into the game in the second quarter, you're facing 25-mile-an-hour winds. Were you thinking, great, this is, you know, you get your chance in a Big 12 game, and now you're throwing into 25-mile-an-hour winds? No, I didn't think about it like that. You know, I knew the winds are tough going into the game, um, pre-game, you know, out there throwing the ball a little bit. I could tell that the winds are definitely a factor. Um, going in and coming out, um, you know, we're making the long throws with the wind. They're simply going to carry the ball. And going into the wind, it's going to push the ball down. So um, didn't think of it as a, as a bad thing. Just knew we had to deal with it. I'm guessing your dad wears maroon on Saturday, right? Definitely, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Could you talk about that, growing up a Red Raiders fan, wearing the little Texas Tech uniform right. when you were a kid, and, and now, you know, maybe your big chance comes against Tech on Saturday? Right. I, you know, I grew up a Tech fan. My dad and mom both went to Tech, and my dad played at Tech. so. Went to a lot of games growing up, probably four or five games each year, uh, growing up all the way up to high school. And then, uh, you know, came here, fell in love with the place, and um, have been nothing but excited to be here. And I'm thankful for my opportunity to be here, and, you know, my parents have been supportive the whole way. They haven't, um, you know, never tried to talk me out of it or tried to talk me into going to Tech or anything like that. They were supportive the whole way, and um, there's not much Tech stuff in our house anymore. It's, it's all in room, so... I think we have some comforts. Ryan, how did Gerard handle himself just the last couple of days, and has it made it a little bit easier with all this? Yeah, I think I think it makes it easier that we're friends. You know, we want each other to succeed. We don't wish any bad things upon each other. Um, you know, when he's in there, I'm talking to him about what I see, and when when I was in there, he was you know talking to coaches and me about what he saw. So, um, you know, it could be a tough situation, but the fact that we're friends and and we want this team to win and succeed, it, it makes it all easy. I think you threw through three more passes Saturday than you had. In your entire career right. until then, how much does that experience help moving forward? And actually, get that kind of Big 12 game experience. Uh, it definitely feels good, you know, um, not being able to throw many passes and just basically being in mop up duty, um, you know, my whole career so far. It definitely felt good to get in there and get some live action and um, get, get a feel for the game. You know, a couple series in a row, a couple drives in a row, and, and get a feel for a game. Is Tech Week more exciting for you than, than any other football week of the year? With all your ties there? I wouldn't say that really. Um, you know, it, it's a Big 12 South game, and, and that's how I have to look at it. Uh, it's a big game for, for this team, and um, we're just looking to have to go and get Did a win. Tech recruit you? I'm sorry if that's a stupid question. No, it's fine. Uh, no, they didn't really recruit me. I ran like a wing T type offense my junior and senior year, so I don't think they were looking for that. They didn't fit into Mike Leach's system. No, I don't think so. Hey, Ryan, there can't be too many quarterbacks that are uh, top five on a career list as far as receiving goes that are now starting quarterbacks, or at least getting opportunities with reps at quarterback. What does that give you as far as an advantage when you're connecting with your receivers out there? Are you able to see the game differently because you are a receiver also? I, yeah, I don't think it helps. You know, I'm, I'm on the same page as a lot of those guys. You know, I've been in their shoes, and we can we can talk about what we see. You know, We've been in practice together and talked about routes and, and how we want them to run. So you know, I definitely think it helps just getting another perspective.